people here at St. Clement's this morning uh, dissolved into tears when they started to talk to me about being at the service. That some of them were struggling with some faith issues and it was as if that service took all of the things that they were struggling with away. And seeing me be consecrated bishop, just being part of that whole tradition and seeing that sense of apostolic succession and all those bishops coming in and all that love and prayer in the room, there was something transformative for them and they loved it. And they, they dissolved into tears today, uh, more than one, actually about six, which was wonderful, which was, what, what more can you ask for for a day? I, I was here today, I had the honor of being at, at the cathedral, the pro-cathedral of St. John, and I, and I loved what I did. It wasn't that I did too many things that were new or different, but I preached, I celebrated the Eucharist. Those are things that I love to do. And I was able to give an Episcopal blessing. And my prayer is that the more people encounter people like, more bishops and priests and lay people encounter people like Mary Glasspool and Jean Robinson, they can cease seeing them as gay. They can cease seeing them as male or female. They can see them as beloved children of God who love Jesus Christ and want to do ministry in His name. How can we together grow in Christ? What are the, what are the uh, elements that you need now? What's working well? What's not working at all? What kind of resources do you need to have access to? Um, and again, what can I do to help that happen? Is it communication? Is it some concrete resource, money, uh, connection? Can I introduce you to some people who may have some gifts and skills that they can bring to this endeavor? Um, and it'll be different in different places. Uh, so. Personally, I look at ministry as that of um, reconciling the world to God through Jesus Christ and service. And I think that the church, I pray that the church is moving forward in that so that we come to a time when it's not front page news, when a woman is made bishop or a consecrated bishop or or a lesbian is consecrated bishop, or an African American is consecrated bishop, or a Latino is consecrated bishop. The front page news should be that someone has put themselves forward to do a hard but good work, regardless of age, race, skin color, or sexual orientation or gender. That's the day I pray for.